While the United States government makes you think that there is an imminent threat to Ukraine, that Russian troops are ready to invade the country, I think it's worth taking a good hard look at how soldiers guarding the border in Ukraine are feeling. What are they feeling? Are they afraid? Do they see this as an imminent threat? Well, this video didn't get much attention, but I think you should probably watch it. Let's see. Here on the Ukrainian side, there's no sense at all that anyone is preparing for an invasion. The sergeant here asks we not give his name. He says he doesn't expect conflict, but he is prepared. Our commanders told us that we must be alert, he tells us. We are ready to meet guests from Russia. What kind of weapons do you have at this position? Do you have any heavy weaponry? I don't see any, but I just want to make sure. You don't need to see, and the enemy doesn't need to see, he says, but we have everything. They look super worried. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny because, you know, there's things we tell you about mainstream media. One is that um, they don't often just make up facts. They do sometimes, okay? But oftentimes it's the framing that's the issue, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it, and then sometimes they'll have a great story. They'll bury it on page A27 or they'll do what they're likely going to do here. They'll air it once. And then never refer to it again. They'll have instant amnesia and forget about it. So I'm um, credit to CNN for airing that segment mm -hmm. where it looks like the Ukrainian soldiers are like, what potential war? I mean, I know you guys are doing propaganda in America about, oh my God, we need to beat the Russians, but we, we were just grabbing a burger. We're cool, dude, right? Dude showed up in a beanie, <laughs> like in the beginning of that clip. He's like hanging out. He's like, yo, what's up, girl? How you doing? You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, she's like, where are you? Well, look at him. Look at him. He's like, yeah. Just taking a lovely little stroll, not a big deal. <laughs> we have big weapons. You cannot see. You cannot see it, but they are here. Okay, I show you a big weapon. Okay, <laughs> but look. They don't have to see it. <laughs> okay, so we think that America is overhyping the threat. Uh, you know, we of course we should be careful. We think Russia makes a rare, valid point uh, that uh, the military alliance stretching to their backyard is. Uh, confrontational and needlessly confrontational. And we've told you from day one, and Anna's done a great job of this, uh, of saying, hey, the Ukrainian government doesn't seem anywhere near as concerned as we are. And one more uh, piece of evidence that comes out of that video is that the Ukrainian government allowed CNN cameras to go into a trench where it looks like there are no weapons and they're not at all ready. And you would uh, allow that most of the time if you wanna send the message of, Hey, stop freaking out. You're making a war more likely, not less likely. Mm -hmm. And then obviously there's defense contractors in America going, yeah, we know, that's kind of the point. That's it's kind of like <laughs> what we do. Right. And you know, some have brought up the possibility that Germany and France are not impartial in their efforts to de-escalate the war. So you should always be suspicious of those who are trying to de-escalate, right? So um, I think that's a really good concern, so let's address that. Uh, now, of course, there's the Nord, uh, the Nord Stream pipeline. That sounds really weird. Yeah, Nord Stream pipeline um, that would uh, transfer gas from Russia to Germany. That's a big deal. And so there are some economic interests at play, not just for Russia, but for Germany as well. That is a legitimate thing to bring up. However, there's also the issue of where these countries are geographically. The United States does not have to worry about a war spilling over within its borders. It doesn't have to worry about a refugee crisis, which will inevitably happen if this turns into a hot war. I think that it's legitimate that, hey, these European countries are thinking about, you know, maybe doing a cost benefit analysis here. Maybe we need to approach this diplomatically because if this does turn into a, a hot war, they have a lot more to lose than the United States would. And, and I want to shout out to Shireen Naruzi who made a great point on Super Chat that I want to amplify. Um, you know, there's one other potential downside to this. Uh, they have nukes, we have nukes, and we both have enough nukes to destroy the whole planet a couple of times over. So in the movie Don't Look Up, uh, the whole time I'm screaming, why are you taking any chance that the entire planet might be destroyed and we all lose our lives. And that's what we're doing now with Russia. We're taking a certain percentage chance that we're gonna get into a conflict and the conflict's gonna get worse. And then conventional weapons would already be an unbelievable disaster. 
But on top of that, we're taking some percentage chance that we'll go to nukes and end the entire planet. That's insane, do not take that chance, especially when the country involved, Ukraine, is saying, we don't know why America is losing its mind. Just chill out for a second, right? right? France, Germany, all of our allies are trying to get us under control as well as the Russians. With the exception of the UK. Mm -hmm. The UK does not fall under the de-escalation camp at all. Uh, very much aligned with what the United States uh, wants in terms of escalating the situation. Uh, but you have to think about, I think it's okay. You should think about all the incentives and disincentives on both sides, even among um, NATO allies. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, so far, uh, the very individuals who seem to be ignored throughout all of this are the Ukrainians and what Ukrainian officials are saying which I think is problematic. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.